So, you know how to paint power weapons, but what about fine detail? Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, time for another Back to Basics video for you. And in this one, I want to talk about fine detail. So this is the little areas on a model, the finishing touches uh, that really make your model look good. Now, as always, this series is aimed for beginners, uh, but I really hope it's useful to you. Okay, let's have a look at fine details. Okay, so let's have a chat about fine detail. So, what is fine detail, first of all? Well, we've got our marine just here, which obviously we've been painting up during the series, and uh, he's looking pretty good. And we've gone in, we've base coated him, we've washed him, we've highlighted him, um, and he's looking pretty finished. However, if you look closely at the model, uh, there's a few fine details that I haven't actually painted yet. In particular, uh, the lenses on the eyes, the helmet there, um, and also down at the bottom where the purity seal is. Um, I haven't done anything with that as yet. Now if you spin the model around, I've done everything else. So it's just those two little things to do on this particular man. Um, and those two little things are really going to help the model look finished. Um, and that's obviously what ideally we're looking for, just to try to make the model look as good as we can. Now. Also, this guy is going to be standing on a base with a dead uh, Fenrisian wolf. And as yet, I've only painted the fur, so I haven't done the fine details of this. That's his teeth, his tongue, and his eyes. So I need to do that as well, which I'm going to do later in the video. Uh, but first of all, I just want to show you some other examples and just have a chat about fine detailing. I'm just going to bring in this model, which is my Dark Eldar. So this is the Dark Eldar Witch. Uh, now, obviously, on the paint scheme of this one, as we've discussed before, I went for a really, really simple, quick and easy paint scheme, something that looked good on the table, tabletop quality, um, but I had to skip a few bits and pieces to uh, finish painting the army um, in the time scale that I set myself. And some of those details are the fine details. For example, on the back here, where you've got some little uh, pouches on the belt, I haven't painted that, I've just left that in that basic orangey browny colour. Um, now it works, the model still looks finished, obviously if I went back in and I painted those it would add some more character and detail to the model, um, but I'm not going for a painting competition with this army, I was just going for getting it painted quick. And uh, obviously the amount of detail, the amount of work, the amount of hours that you put in uh, to a model is entirely up to you, and that's obviously your choice and your decision. And you may find one army will be a quick paint army, and the other army won't be a quick paint army, um, you know, if you have more than one army. Now, having said all that, there were some fine details which I had no choice, I had to paint, otherwise the model just didn't look finished, uh, which is what we were talking about. So, on this particular one, uh, the hair has these little, like, sticks going through to hold the hair into place. Now, originally, I wasn't going to paint those little sticks. Um, originally, I was just going to leave them green. Um, but the model just looked unfinished. And that's the key thing. They are trying to find the details which will make that model look finished. The back, not a problem. It looks finished. The front, with those little sticks not painted, it just didn't look finished. So, that's one thing to bear in mind. Um, and just bring in this guy, because I don't think you've seen this one in this, this series yet. This is my Eldar Guardian. And just going back to the belt, uh, so obviously on this one I have painted that belt, and it just takes that model to the next level. Now if I just left that white, obviously it, it wouldn't look silly, um, but it would look a little bit uh, unfinished, I think, in this particular model. I think that's something which just had to be painted. And that's, like I said, that's what you need to do, is work out what needs to be painted and what doesn't, uh, to make it look pleasing to the eye. Now there are some characters, there are some HQs, like this excerpt that I've got for my Swooping Hawks, and uh, they do tend to have a lot more detail than your standard troops, you know, than the standard Hawks. Uh, so you don't ch they tend to be ornated with additional things, have uh, extra, on this one's got extra feathers and stuff. Um, and when, you, when it comes time to painting a character or a sergeant, which has more details, I think that's where it's well worth putting in the extra time. Even if you don't do it on the standard troops, um, the character that joins those troops 
or the sergeant that's amongst those troops it's probably worth putting in the extra little time just to make the extra details that are on there uh, pop and it will just make the whole unit look a little bit better if you have those all details all painted. Okay, so I think that's enough little talking for that. Let's go on to our actual model, set up the painting and uh, we'll paint some details. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Fenrisian Wolf, uh, mainly because it's going to be a couple of different colours on here and I want to uh, let it dry basically whilst I'm painting something else. Now I'm going to be using my triple zero brush, my very small brush, uh, to paint this up. So first of all I'm going to go in uh, with some Mephiston Red and I'm just going to paint uh, the gum, because he's got like this little gum going over the top of his tooth here, like a snarling tooth. So I'm just going to paint that through. There's no particular skill for painting fine detail except uh, just take your time and uh, have a steady hand really. Also going to paint the tongue itself. So just going to speed the camera up a little. Okay, so that's the gums painted. So now I'm just going to let that dry and move on to the Space Marine. Now a little bit like when we were doing um, edge highlighting, we were rotating the model to match our paint strokes rather than trying to paint, turn our brush to match the model. Um, and that's a key thing really I think as well with painting something very very small and detailed. So I'm going to paint the eye lens, uh, so the first one I'm going to go in and paint the right way up. Well, the right way up for me is probably upside down for you. Then I'm going to rotate the model round so that I'm doing exactly the same brush stroke, but obviously I'm upside down, or well, the correct way for you. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and go back to the wolf. So I'm going to paint the teeth now. Um, I'm going to use a bone colour just to start with, almost like a little base coat. I'm going to pick out each individual tooth. And the first coat is just going to be just um, just to find out where the detail is really, so I'm not too worried about completely painting it, just laying down roughly where each individual tooth is. Now we are obviously going to have this wolf laying down on its side. So this side isn't quite as important as the other side, however I am still going to put some paint on it. And then again I'm going to turn it upside down to do the teeth at the bottom. So now I know exactly where the teeth are, I'm going to redo that and uh, just fit it in a little bit more. So I've got, I'm basically putting it on a little bit thicker. Now the paint obviously is still watered down, um, but rather than just just gently putting a very light coat on just to work out where the detail's going. I'm actually now going in with a proper coat. And sometimes it's difficult with teeth. Sometimes teeth aren't even there. You've got to make the teeth up. I noticed that on some of the Tyranids. So you go in and think, well, where are the teeth? And you've literally just got to make it up and put your own teeth on there. One 
one thing to bear in mind with teeth, sometimes you need to paint the inside of the tooth, inside the mouth. Now on these wolves, it doesn't actually have it, but I did notice on some of my Tyranids, you had to actually paint the inside of the teeth, otherwise it just didn't look quite right. So I'm just finishing them off now, just making sure they all look good. Okay, so they look good. I'm going to just put a little wash on the red there, um, and uh, then we'll come back and do some more work on that wolf. In the meantime, let's have another look at the eyes. Okay, so the lens is there, the base coat's already dried. What we're going to do now is we're going to highlight them. So using that triple zero brush once again, because we're in a very small area, um, I've mixed a little bit of white to that red, so I've got like a pinky white. And I'm going to put the highlight just at the back of the uh, lens. So I'm going to turn the model around just to make it a bit easier. It's going to go in here. I'm going to look at about halfway just uh, put this highlight in there, just on the end, and then on this side. Like so. Okay, let that dry and we'll do some more. In the meantime, I'm going to paint the purity seal just down the bottom there. I'm just going to get some morphine brown. Uh, you could go in black as well, um, but I'm going to use some brown and I'm just going to put a very small amount on my brush and I'm just going to paint some little squiggly lines so that it looks like writing. I'm going to do the same on the other one because there's two little cells. Okay, and then once I've got the bleach bone um, here on my palette, I am just gonna just do a very small little edge highlight of that that uh, little purity cell because as yet we haven't actually highlighted this. I've now got the writing down. I'm literally just gonna go around the edges and just add a little bit of a highlight to it. Okay, so they're looking a lot better than they were. So now, back to the helmet. So we've got one highlight. I'm now just going to go in with the last little highlight and uh, going to go in with some white. I'm just going to do a little speck of white right at the back of this eye. Just there. A little bit more. One. Just making sure that looks good. Okay, so there you go, that is the detail finished and painted on that guy. He's looking a lot better already, and obviously, he doesn't have any of his weapon options on or anything. Okay, so let's go back to the wolf. I have uh, put a very light wash of red on there just to darken it down slightly, nothing too drastic. Um, arguably I could have gone in, should have gone in with the wash before I did the teeth, but um, as I said I just did it very carefully and it's a very light wash. So let's have another look at doing the teeth. So this time I've added a bit of white to that bone colour and I'm just going to go in over those teeth, uh, just at the bottom just to add a little bit more colour and depth to them. So even though we are painting very small areas, we're still sticking to our ethos of uh, base and highlight. Now obviously you don't want to go with a pure white because 
you know, they're not going to have pure white teeth. Okay, so that's that done. I'm now going to go back to the red and I'm going to add some, just mixing it up now, basically just adding some water to that red, but I don't want it to be as pink as it was on the eyes. Just want it to be just a little bit redder. So let's go in. I'm just going to hit just the edges and the tip of this tongue. Just again, just to give it a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go inside the mouth just on the edges. Just spreading that around so we don't get any harsh like lines as such. And then on the gums, again just one little it's a little highlight just on the gum. One. Two. Okay, so now he is looking pretty cool. Uh, all that's left to do is the eyes. Now, obviously, this is a dead wolf, so I need to work out how I'm going to paint his eye. Arguably, you could have it closed, but he's got his. I mean, he, he's snarling still. I think he died snarling, so he's, he would die with his eyes open. So let's paint him an eye. Right, let's get some paint. Okay, so I found some paint, um, just a random paint that I picked up. I'm going to go for a Nurgling Green. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my wet palette. We hardly need any for this. I think a green's quite a nice colour for uh, animal eyes. So, here's my bean bag, and we go. Right, so, let's have a look where his eye is, and uh, put some paint in it. Okay, looks about right, just going to let that dry. I'm not going to bother painting the one underneath because you literally are not going to be able to see that. Just let that dry a second, we'll come back. Uh, I'm now going to go in with some black paint and I'm just going to do just a little dot in the middle of the eye. go. Cool. We now have one dead space wolf. Well, Fenrisia wolf. Right, okay, so now you may think, oh, it's finished, but it's not quite finished. I've got this detail here today. So I'm going to go back to the bone colour and uh, this little bone here that I've got, I'm just going to just give it a little highlight and it's going to be covered in blood anyway but it's a just looking not quite so bony colour at the moment so I'm just going to just go in with that just here and then whilst I've got this red out I'm going to go in to some of this green stuff and I'm just going to highlight a few of these little blood and gut sections which are coming out. Like I said, this is all going to be covered in blood effects anyway, but um, it just adds that little depth to it. So, first of all, with that lighter colour, let that dry. I'm going to go in with all, almost like that pinky colour that we had earlier. Okay, going to come in now with this pinky colour, and I'm just going to hit a few of the edges, not all of them. This would just give me that variety of colours. Right, there you go. I've got a bit more depth now to that area when it comes to the blood effects. It should help just uh, make them look pretty, if blood effects can look pretty. <laughs> okay, so that is the wolf done. All fine details done. 
that is the marine or fine details done. So uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I uh, really hope you found it useful. Uh, thanks for watching, of course, as always. And uh, watch out for the next episode in the series coming next Saturday. Thanks for watching.